guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for the support since the pandemic social media has become quite popular now people are sitting down depending on social media for current event they're no longer depending on the news they're no longer listening to news reading the newspaper or anything like that they rather to go on social media so they can know what is happening around them now when you look at it a lot of people here in Jamaica, they don't like what is happening on social media. There is a particular platform since the Donnelly situation, it has grown. People realize that the information that is put out on this platform is information that is factual, information where people wonder where it get it from, who are his sources. People wonder that. So what you realize that is happening because this platform now is highlighting what is happening here in Jamaica, what is happening especially with individuals who are in position, individuals with authority that should be looking out for the welfare of the country, what they are doing, this platform is highlighting it. And because of that, they don't like it you will realize that they come out, they talk, and everything. The prime minister, he came out, he said something about it. Now the police commissioner is coming out saying something about it. Now, what they don't understand is that social media know because of how easily people can interact on a platform, they will go and they will voice their opinion. You don't have to call in, go to go through this, get busy signal. You don't have to do that. You don't have to write a dear editor. And no, you don't have to do that anymore. You have the comment section. You can easily put your opinion there. You can call in on the person program and you can bring across your opinion also. So because of that, how easily it is for people to connect and for them to bring across their views, you realize that a lot of people now are drawn to social media and drawn to this particular page. Not only that, a lot of people in the diaspora, they did not know what is happening here in Jamaica. A lot of them did not know. A lot of the, oh, government individuals are misusing their power. Wollipa people never know. Well, go on. So because of this platform and what it is highlighting, what it is bringing across now, you know, you realize that people overseas understand what is happening in their small country. Some people, they are a, they're shocked when they hear somebody something them. Some of the corruption that are taking place, they are in awe because a lot of them can't believe what is happening and Oh, they know about it because of this platform. I heard the other day where someone said that social media, what is happening on social media is going to affect the country. And I said to the person, oh, is it going to affect the country? The person said, because of the information that is put out there where a lot of the stuff I like the bad that is happening in Jamaica is going to turn away tourists from coming to the country. I had to say to the person, so what happened to the citizens here? Don't you think that what is happening in the country run the people them? Why you think so much young people migrating to Canada, the US and the UK? Right now I have three friends who are going to go to UK to be social worker just like that. And the person, oh, that different, but people not going to want to come to Jamaica to invest or anything. I said, yes, that might be true, but you have to understand what is happening now is that because the information is being put out there, you have people now, they are going to be more careful with what they're doing because they know that if they do anything and it get, it get in the public domain, they are going to get, let me simply put crucify because of it and they don't want that to happen so now you have some people you know you'll hear oh me no want andre go call up my name so me not and so forth 
But you have others out there because they're in authority. They don't want nobody to question them. Nobody whatsoever. They want to be able to do as they please and get away with everything. They want to be able to abuse the Jamaican citizens and not answer to nobody. And because of the highlight that Jamaica is getting and because now people understand what is going on. You hear the prime minister come out and he speak about what is taking place on social media. Now you have the police commissioner coming out and saying that there need to be a new uh, legislation to tackle the social media mischief maker. In the article, he said that misleading the police and the public. He's talking about people who use social media to mislead the police and the public. He talk about people who modify the videos on social media, especially those that happen overseas to let it look like it's happening in, here in Jamaica. He talk about people who use old videos to make it look like it's something current. And he talk about individuals who abuse the social media platforms and so forth. He even went a little bit further and said that people need to make reports to the police. Basically, he's saying that before you go on any social media platform to make a report to anybody, report it to the police. You see, when you see all of that and you read the article, you realize like when he, matta, when he was giving the report, he matta, the on the edge in the one go too deep and everything because honestly you have to wonder misleading the public and yet still a lot of the information that is put out there especially on the particular platform that i know that they're targeting is ac is accurate information so you have to wonder why but it goes to show that people don't expect bosses as some people call them the bosses people in authority they don't like when people question them they don't like when people hold them accountable for anything then just want to get away with every single thing where them do wrong they don't want to answer to a soul when you listen to what the integrity commission here in jamaica going through just by doing the work you know you wonder what is happening? You realize that report do? They said this person supposed to answer. Within no time, they have to draw back. They have to say something different because of fear. That's how I look at it. So clearly, no matter what is happening in the country, nobody not supposed to come on social media. They're not supposed to talk about it. Andre not supposed to go on him program. He's not supposed to talk about what is happening with the teachers. He's not supposed to speak about the 27 murders in five days. He's not supposed to speak about that. You're supposed to just say everything. You sit quietly and you say, okay, the government have it luck. We not have to worry. No, them days they're done. Because... We now understand here in Jamaica that we can't depend on certain individuals to serve and to protect us. We can't depend on certain individuals to provide for our, our citizens. You can't. And because of that, no, you, know, you have people reaching out to individuals who they think can make a difference. And what I think is really happening right now is that they are trying to shut up these individuals. They have to understand you have a freedom of speech, but you realize they want to come with this law and everything. Will that make a difference? No, it will not. You can come with new legislation after it's not going to make a difference because you see, once the person know what they're doing, they come on the platform, they speak properly, they're not defame nobody or anything, they will still bring across the information that people want to hear. When you look, there is this gentleman on YouTube, polit politics, politics, that P gentleman that distort his voice. When you listen to that man, you have to wonder. You have to wonder, 
where him get him information from. At one point, I remember there was a particular case. A lot of people never know about the case. Only a few individuals knew of the case. And lo and behold, that gentleman had it on his platform. When I came across it, I was like, but wait, I want to go on right here. So, And I remembered what happened. I sent a message to somebody with the link and I said, listen to this. Because I wanted to know, I wanted them to say that, guess what? The information where people think say, lock tight by JCF and everything. The information is already out there. So when you listen to people like them, you know, you have to wonder who them I get them information from, who are the sources, because trust me, them accurate, them on point. Popeyes, when you listen, I'm like, oh my God, when you listen to them news people there, you realize that the information that you get, some of them, the information that you get from them, no make one sense. Because I remember during the Donnelly situation, one particular one, he found Donnelly body, was it 10, 50 times already? And you have to wonder. So when you think about your legislation, you think about individual like that. But really and truly, they're not focused on that person. They're focusing on one particular person because the J believe that this particular person is out to get them. And people, I'm being honest, I am looking forward to the election campaign because I want to see what this person is going to do on their platform. The J believe that this person is out to get them. And because they believe that they're going to want to shut up this person at it, no matter what, anything them just want to take this person off the plat off their platform. So I believe that when you hear things like this, the PM come with something, talk about it, he was quite upset and everything. Then you hear police come, and I'm wondering now, okay, then who else is coming? Who else is going to come and say something? When you listen to some of the information that they put up there, you wonder where they get the data from because you live in Jamaica. You understand certain things that is happening and you know that the data that is being presented is far, 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 far from the truth that is taking place. So I hope that this platform holder in particular understand that right now what he's doing is doing a very, very good job let me just simply put it like that. And because of that, they are watching and they are going to try to take him off social media at all costs. Now, I realize that he's trying to dwell in a particular era. And if I was him, I would leave that alone because where you're heading, if you don't head there in the right and proper way, take lead lady in the dark advice if you don't head into that direction the right and proper way you're going to get into some serious problem so if you want to head in that direction providing food for everybody in jamaica pampas and everything please do it the right and proper way do it like that because you are being watched and when we say you are, you are being watched you are being watched so guys thank you so much please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel